two videos in a day you lucky so-and-sos very fast welcome back to palace mad mason a lot's happened in the last few hours again um and a lot's happened today so let's talk about it all first of all the more positive news crystal palace have signed maxence lacroix from wolfsburg for a fee of around 17 and a half million pounds 21 million euros if you translate uh, into the european currency and uh, I think it is a very, very positive sign for Crystal Palace, seeing as we let go of Joachim Anderson about a week ago. And it is good to see that Crystal Palace have responded to this before deadline day. I'm saying this because maybe he may be in contention for the Chelsea game, but I would still think it might be a little bit too late that we've signed him. Um, but I think it is very important to mention that we have got this deal done because um, he is going to be a very prolific starter for Palace this season. I really do. Um, he's aggressive brings a lot of pace into the squad and that is something that Joachim Anderson was missing, that pace defending and um, I think he's a very quick passer of the ball which means he can fit in Glasner's system really well so he'll be probably playing alongside Chris Richards and Mark Gaye if Mark Gaye doesn't leave which we haven't received any other bids today and um, Charlie Riyad as well. Um, once he comes back from the injury he picked up last night against Norwich in the League Cup vlog, I've just uploaded that. So, uh, you know, give it a watch if you can. But, yeah, so I think Lacroix is a very good player. Obviously, a great player on FIFA a few years ago in my uh, ultimate team. I remember him very, very well there. No, but in all seriousness, I think it's a very, very good signing for Crystal Palace. And... You know, who knows how well he'll do. And I think it's good that we've got him in uh, so he can get to know the team before the international break. And during it, we'll have a two-week period. And hopefully we can get started with him against Leicester City on the 14th of September once the international break is over. Can't believe there's an international break three games into a Premier League season. But there you go. And the other piece of news. Sam Johnston has left Palace. So we've got an eagle landing and an eagle flying away. Uh, and that is exactly what's happened today. Sam Johnston has left to go to Wolves for £10 million. Now, financially, I think this helps the club massively um, because uh, we signed him on a free two years ago from West Bromwich Albion. Uh, and we signed, we've let him go for £10 million. It's a £10 million profit, another good bit of profit. We've had 42 mil for Elise, 10 plus for Anderson, so 52, uh, five and a half. For Jordan Ayew, who scored last night, I've said that before, 58 million, let's say, and then 10 million pound profit on Sam Johnston. Nearly 70 million pounds in profit we've made in this window, and I'm glad to see that we are spending it on players like Lacroix and, uh, well, Eddie and Ketty here, I had my thoughts on that yesterday, and that video is nearly the highest viewed video on my channel, so that is amazing in itself. But Sam Johnston um, was our second choice goalkeeper. Um, he signed as our first choice keeper in 2022 when we had Jack Butland. I think we still had Vincente Guaita at the time. Um, and he come in and it took him a while for him to get his first Premier League start for Crystal Palace because it was all Vincente Guaita at the time under Patrick Vieira. He didn't really make his first start for Crystal Palace until Roy Hodgson came in at the end of the 22-23 season and I think he made his full debut in the Premier League against Leeds United in April 2023. So he's been playing at the club for I'd say about a year because when Oliver Glasner came in last season uh, in February 2024 Sam Johnston stopped playing it was Dean Henderson who we were playing instead. And I, I agree with that because we signed Dean Henderson for about £20 million from Manchester United. It needed to be done. Um, but Sam Johnson's got a point to prove. Gareth Southgate's left England now and he's going to want to prove this manager to the new manager, whoever it may be, that this is like what Sam Johnston can do. Will he get a start at Wolves? I doubt it, though, because they've got Jose Sarr in net. And I do think he's a better goalkeeper overall than Sam Johnston. And I think it's funny how uh, they're signing a, keep, a keeper that used to play for their rival club, West Bromwich Albion. But there you go. That is a bit of a funny one. But there you go. Two major things happening in the transfer window. And it, I'll quick to mention as well, Naira Hamada is close to leaving Crystal Palace as well. Signed in from Stuttgart in January 2023. He hadn't even scored for the club. He might have scored in pre-season, I think. But um, we, we signed him for £10 million and he's not done a, a stroke, really, to be honest. Um, 
So I'm glad to see him go on loan, get him a little bit of experience elsewhere. And then when he comes back, we might have to reconsider our options with Naira Hamada, to be honest. I think out of all of Dougie Friedman's positive signings he's made for Crystal Palace, that was a very negative one, in my opinion. But there you go. So Lacroix in, Johnston out. And that's my, that's my reaction, really. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. I don't know if I'm going to be making another transfer video. It's gone wild at Crystal Palace. I don't know. We've got um, rest of today, Thursday 29th and Friday 30th of August for the transfers. And I've got my vlog coming out on uh, Sunday against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. I hope you guys are looking forward to that, as am I. I've got my tickets literally. I'm staring at them right now. And I will see you guys shortly.